Jojo and Jeremy. You did not decide to be ordained on the 15th of August. Not the council, but the Lord. This is God's design. This is destiny. You are priests of Don Bosco. You are also sons of Mary Help of Christians. Today you will receive great powers. And among the great powers to be given to you will be the power of the word over the bread and the wine to be able to say, this is my body, this is my blood. You have been saying those words in the years of your education in the seminary, but they had no power. Beginning this afternoon, when you say, this is my body, the bread becomes the body of Christ. This is my blood, the, the wine becomes the blood of Christ. And at the feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, I ask you a question. Was Mary at the first Eucharist? Was Mary at the upper room at the so-called Last Supper with the Apostles? The Gospels are quiet about it, but we know in our hearts of hearts that the Mother of God should be present, logically present at the upper room. When the Lord said, this is my body, when the Lord said, this is my blood, the next question is, where did the Lord get his body? Where did the Lord get his blood? But from the blood of Mary, from the body of Mary. Mary was there because her body was there in the body of Jesus. And uh, I am quite sure, although the scriptures are quiet about it, at the foot of the cross, when the Son of Man was nailed to the tree of the cross, the first mortal to say, this is my body and this is my blood, was the Virgin Mary. To be able to point to the body on the cross and to say, this body came from my body. This blood dripping on the ground, this blood came from my blood. I nurtured him. I gave him, I gave him to the world. And look what the world did to my son. So Jeremy and Jojo, to the question, was the Virgin Mary at the first Eucharist in faith? We say yes. Is the Virgin Mary in every Mass? In faith, we also say yes. Because the body of Jesus is the body of Mary and the blood of Jesus is the blood of Mary. But beginning this afternoon, Jojo and Jeremy, you will be saying that also. This is my body, this is my blood. But do not just look at the bread and the wine. Look at yourself and be able to say, this is my body, I am giving it up so that sins may be forgiven. When you pour wine into the chalice, say, this is my blood, I am willing to pour it out so that sins may be forgiven. In other words, Jeremy and Jojo, you must take it to heart that your body and your blood become also sacrificial offerings as you offer the body and blood of the Lord. But it does not always happen. As it has happened in many events and situations and incidents in the past, that we may say those words as priests, but our hearts are not there. We may say those words as priests, but we are not there at the altar being sacrificed. And there are many substitutes to give to the people. We only ask you, give us your body 
give us your blood. We only ask you, Jesus told you, come follow me. Jesus actually means come and die with me. Please die every day. Because one day in your life that you did not die with the Lord, one day in your life that you did not offer your body and your blood to the Lord for the forgiveness of the sins of the world, that day is wasted. That day is wasted. But what are the poor substitutes? Instead of giving yourself, you can just give us food. Instead of giving us yourself, you can just give us alms, as money. Instead of giving yourself, you can just give us properties from the pocket. But that is not what we ask for. Because the government can give us food. The employer can give us money. But from you, we want the body of Jesus. We want the blood of Jesus. We are not asking you to build schools, to build orphanages, to build hospitals, to construct seminaries, to construct parish churches. Remember, in his lifetime here on earth, in his public ministry, the Lord did not build one church, not one orphanage, not one hospital. Are you going to say that many priests are better than Jesus? No one has matched Jesus because the only thing Jesus gave was the Father's love for us. And that is all that matters. Do not, do not give us do not create in us fans clubs because we are not here to adore you. We are here to adore the Lord. And the Lord does not encourage fans to follow Him, but disciples, followers. As you know, Georgia and Jeremy, we can fall into the temptation of trivializing our mistakes such that our mistakes, instead of being scandalous, become butt of jokes. And then, what do we do? We compromise holiness. Charmy, Jojo, we are only asking you, give us Jesus. Give us Jesus in you. The body of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, we sh we should, you should be able to say, this is my body, this is my blood. And then when that happens, the story of discipleship is complete because there is no greater love than to die for those you love. Jeremy, Jojo, the priesthood cannot be easy. If you start to see that the priesthood is easy, you might be following the wrong master. Do not be afraid of pain. Pain is a very good teacher because the lessons that convenience and easy life and comfort teach us are lessons that turn us away from the master. Darkness. Do not be afraid of darkness. Do not be afraid of the dark night. Only those who are willing to walk to the dark night will be able to see the beauty of the stars and the moon. Jeremy, Jojo, give us your body. Give us your blood. And if there should come a time when at the sunset of our lives, we would be asked to lay down our lives for the Lord, say yes because it would just be a fitting conclusion to that this is my body and this is my blood that you have uttered every day of your life and my dear people of god when jeremy and Giorgio say this is my body this is my blood over the bread and over the wine please take courage people of god as you eat Jesus, you can also eat us, your priests. You can consume us. Do not be afraid to disturb us. Do not be afraid to...
cause us pain, the cross of do, do not bring do not be afraid to bring us the cross of Jesus. Because that is why we were called. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we want holy priests. But do not spoil your priests. Give them a chance to carry the cross of Christ. Because it is only by carrying the cross of Christ that we can truly have the priests according to the heart of Jesus. Charmy, Giorgio, you are going to receive power. This is my body. This is my blood. But you are also going to receive a great duty. Be able to say, this is my body. This is my blood. I offer it to the Lord. Let it be broken. Let my blood pour forth so that sins may be forgiven and God be glorified. I say, it is not by chance, but by destiny and God's design that I am ordaining you. This ordination was scheduled by the Lord and it is planned by the hand of God. And because of this, we enter into a spiritual relationship. Because of this, we are now bonded to each other. For the rest of my life, I will say to the Lord, Lord, thank you for the grace of ordaining Jeremy. Lord, thank you for the grace of ordaining Jojo. It is a blessing to ordain you both. But if there should come a time in your life when you would be tempted to ask questions and say, I am tired of giving my body. I am tired of giving my blood for the salvation of the world. Before you make any decision, before you turn around or take another path, please come over. We can talk together. And we can talk to God together. And I know that God, who blessed you on the 15th of August, 2022, will be the same God who will sustain you when you are tired, who will refresh you when you are discouraged, who will lift you up when you are fallen. Because God's love for you is irrevocable. And at the sunset of your lives, when you can no longer say, this is my body and this is my blood, may the Lord who gave you the power to say, this is my body, this is my blood, be the same Lord who will welcome you into his kingdom and be able to say, I recognize this body, I recognize this blood, this blood and this body have been offered for me. Welcome good and faithful servant.